that you know, I find it ironic. There's a lot of concern about lawlessness uh, in this town and in this institution. I, I would just think that regular order uh, should prevail on this subcommittee, particularly uh, a subcommittee where we've got a topic so inflammatory uh, in terms of the subject matter, guilty until proven uh, innocent. And I guess I'm struggling uh, with that topic and reconciling its sort of explosive rhetoric uh, with the notion that it seems that some members have come into this committee already presuming the guilt of the Justice Department and its activity connected uh, with Operation Choke Point. And I guess hypocrisy is not a constraint in this institution. I figured that out over my 18 uh, months. But uh, nonetheless, hopefully uh, we can have an exchange where uh, I get some understanding as to the facts related to this program and not simply um, political rhetoric directed at the Department of Justice. Now, it's my understanding that three separate decisions by uh, courts in the Southern District of New York have upheld the Department of Justice's authority under FIREA. Is that correct? Uh, uh, Congressman, yes. Th those, are, um, those are referring to decisions that recognize um, the scope of the uh, conduct that FIREA prohibited in order to protect the integrity of the financial system. And it would, would it be fair to say that Southern District of New York courts are amongst the most commercially sophisticated district courts in the nation, just given the nature uh, of the subject matter that they uh, often find before them? Um, uh, yes, I think that that's fair. And, I, and I'd also point out that these are the only three cases that I'm aware of addressing the question. So all three courts to have addressed it have answered the question the same way. Right. And these courts, I believe, also concluded that the phrase affecting a federally insured financial institution includes financial institution that engages in fraudulent activity that harms itself. Is that correct? Uh, yes. Okay. And in United States v. Countrywide, I believe the court dismissed the defendant's argument that Congress did not intend FIREA to include financial institutions uh, that are parties to fraud and, in fact, characterized that position that seems to be uh, supported by some members of this panel uh, as utterly unconvincing. Is that correct? Um, I, I don't remember the phrase specifically, but I do think all three decisions looking at the text structure and legislative history of the statute concluded that it provides a broad anti-fraud protection f where fraud affects a federally insured financial institution. Okay, and I would just note for the record that uh, we're preparing to sue the president based on alleged lawlessness, and some within the House of Representatives have concluded that the Article III court system should be the arbiter as to whether this president has engaged in quote unquote lawlessness. And that's fine. That's the prerogative of the majority in the House of Representatives. But as it relates to this particular subject matter before us, uh, as you've pointed out, every single court uh, to look at the legality and the Justice Department's legitimacy to move forward as it has, has concluded. Uh, that you are well within the boundaries of the law. And in fact, at least in one instance, uh, has basically characterized the arguments being made by defendants uh, and or their sympathizers uh, as baseless uh, in law. And so there are a lot of things that we as a committee uh, and we as a Congress could be focused on. Uh, certainly, I think the effort to hold financial institutions uh, accountable for their actions and to make sure that consumers in the United States of America and those that we represent aren't harmed by reckless behavior uh, seems to be an appropriate thing uh, for the Department of Justice to be engaging in, particularly given the fact that reckless behavior by financial institutions writ large caused the collapse of the economy in 2008, plunging us into the greatest economic crisis since the Great Depression. And so I support the effort uh, and applaud you, the Justice Department, for continuing to do uh, what is necessary in the best interests of the American people. 
Uh, and I expect that as additional cases wind their way through the court system, uh, they will equally be determined to be frivolous, and I yield back. I'm sorry, you yield back? Or yield back with five minutes to spare. Okay, thank you. That was a shock to me, so I wasn't expecting that. Thank you, Mr. Jefferson. Mr. Holt.